It is a glaring problem in Texas with no solutions in sight. So called wandering officers, members of law enforcement who get into serious trouble, then land somewhere else in part because the state has no oversight of their conduct. In this defender's report, the night team's Dylan Collier introduces you to Roberto Moreno, whose meandering journey between Texas departments ended with him being charged with a felony and facing a federal lawsuit for his alleged treatment of a woman in his custody. Our story begins and ends here in the small town of Taft, population right around 3,000. As a San Antonio area woman returned home with her family after visiting the coast in August 2019, she came into contact with Officer Roberto Moreno. A traffic stop turned into an arrest for suspicion of drug possession. After Moreno handcuffed the woman and unsuccessfully attempted to shut off his body-worn camera, according to this federal civil rights lawsuit, she remarked that she would go for a full body cavity search as long as Moreno did it. Even if she asked him to uh, uh, touch her, it should have never happened. Attorney Robert F. White filed a suit on behalf of the woman late last year. He detailed the brief flirtation and what allegedly happened to her next. He reached in and groped her and then tried to kiss her and she turned away when he tried to kiss her and she, she says something about, you know, that was wrong, I shouldn't have done that and, you know, she, she starts to get uncomfortable. A week after the woman's arrest, the Texas Rangers were made aware of her allegation against Moreno. Following a two-week investigation, the officer was busted on a felony charge, improper sexual activity with a person in custody. What's emerged during the nearly two years since Moreno's booking is the portrait of an officer allowed to skate on rule breaking time and time and time again. We trust our PD to thoroughly vet police officers and they just don't do it. It's it's and, and come on in. In an effort to better understand Moreno's choppy career in law enforcement, the defenders last month traveled to the Coastal Bend. A one-time cadet of the Corpus Christi Police Department, Moreno acknowledged that he had been kicked out of the academy in early 2014, three days before graduation. His written statement, part of a subsequent job application, did not include a reason for his expulsion. And CCPD officials late last month also refused to tell us why, writing in an appeal to the state attorney general that the information would be considered highly intimate or embarrassing. Often on stints as a jailer at two detention centers did not result in any discipline issues or investigations for misconduct, according to records obtained by us. But the same cannot be said for Moreno's 26-month tenure as an officer for the Beeville Police Department. The defenders found at least eight write-ups of Moreno from August 2016 to the fall of 2017 for rules violations like not showing up for duty, rude behavior, and abusive language. That October, Moreno was fired after an internal affairs investigation determined he was repeatedly having sex with a woman while on duty, often in a marked patrol vehicle. Moreno later confronted the woman at her home after she began to tell others about the affair, according to his personnel file. Moreno's termination paperwork reveals that three other women had also filed formal complaints against him, each taking issue with the manner in which he approached them, and that questions he asked made them feel uncomfortable. They detail a pattern of misconduct and what could arguably be considered predatory in nature. Moreno appealed his termination, but ultimately resigned a few months later. Even your plumber or your barber um, you know, has more regulatory oversight. Scott Henson is the policy director for Just Liberty, a nonpartisan justice reform group. He says you can count Moreno among the thousands of police officers in Texas who have been able to take advantage of the fact that the agency that licenses peace officers, TCOL, has no authority to investigate their conduct, leaving, quote, current regulation that is by and large toothless and a fragmented, outdated system, according to an analysis of the agency presented to the state legislature earlier this year. It's already incredibly difficult to hold officers accountable um, 
at the local level. The state's doing virtually nothing. But Moreno's misconduct issues in Beeville did not mark the end of his law enforcement career. Far from it. The department issued him an honorable discharge in early 2018, which allowed him to land another law enforcement job, this time working for the city of Taft. Now employed by an even smaller agency, Moreno's issues escalated. After being reprimanded for accusing two people of theft in a social media post, Moreno was then suspended four days for a heated parking dispute with a resident. Moreno handed that suspension the same day of the alleged groping incident. And just like with Beeville, Moreno was allowed to resign, writing in his exit interview, quote, everything was perfect here. I'm going to miss this place. August 22nd, 2019, as the Rangers were moving to arrest Moreno, then Taft Police Chief John Cornish handed him yet another honorable discharge. Cornish left the agency late last year, eight days after Taft was named a defendant in the civil rights lawsuit. After current Taft police officials referred our questions about Moreno to Cornish, we were able to speak to him briefly at his home outside Corpus. John? Yes. Cornish? Hi, Dylan Collier with KSAT 12. Mm -hmm. Hear about Roberto Moreno and his tenure with the Taft Police Department. I was wondering why you gave him an honorable discharge after the allegations uh, against him. My lawyers. Who's that? You didn't tell us who your lawyers were. White said he is in the process of having Cornish deposed. Specifically Cornish in the city of Taft, where did they fail in this situation? I think they failed the moment they signed him on as an officer. You know, he should have never been a police officer anywhere. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Roberto Moreno's family asked us to leave their property when we stopped by for comment last month. He is scheduled to appear in court in San Patricio County for a plea hearing in his criminal case on July 20th. A timeline of Moreno's long list of run-ins while on the job can be found right now on KSAT.com.